downtown Halloween <laughs> right on our doorstep now. Yards and homes everywhere decked out with the uh, eerie, spooky creatures, uh, although most are just uh, decorations, right? That's right. But what about the real animals that symbolize Halloween? Meteorologist Derek Witt shows us why these creatures aren't so scary after all in this week's Metro Parks Meetup. That's right. Spiders and bats are Halloween icons, but the only reason you should let them spook you is if you're a little bug. Both spiders and bats are vital to our local ecosystem, and their diet is made up of things we don't like agricultural pests they eat and in the parks and outside they are controlling other insect populations. There's over 600 species of spiders in Ohio but thankfully only a few of them will come into your house. While most people don't enjoy that company they're only in there because other insects are too. As for their style of decorating. There's different types of webs that they build. Um, every spider can make silk but not every spider builds webs. Some of them only use uh, their silk for protecting their eggs or maybe just building a little retreat. But hey, at least they don't fly, right? Oh wait. When they're young babies and in warmer months sometimes there could be a rain of spiders uh, because they are climbing up to trees and then putting a little silk out and they can fly a few yards or they can fly miles. As for the more traditional winged symbol of Halloween, we have 10 species of bats in northern Ohio and they also help control insect populations. All of our bat species are insectivores. In Ohio, you don't have to worry about any bats that suck your blood. People think that bats are swooping at their heads, but really they're swooping at the insects that are around you. It's actually a myth that bats are blind. In fact, their eyesight is very good. They also have their infamous echolocation to aid their aerial hunts. Unfortunately, a lot of our local bats are in danger due to a fungus known as white nose syndrome. But if you find an injured bat, or a bat that seems to be lost, um, you can call nature's nursery, and they do take bats. Those bats are most active during the evening hours, and the species that live in our region are quite small. With their furry little faces, some might even call them cute. With this week's Metro Parks Meetup, I'm Derek Witt.